The type of anchor point you created when you clicked was called a corner point for each one of these. That's because there are no curves. It's all straight and angular, okay? Now that you created some corner points, you will create some smooth points and things like that, but first let's learn a few more techniques for selecting paths. Select the selection tool and move the pointer over a straight line segment here, and you're going to see that a little box shows next to it. Click. That means, like we learned in Lesson 2, that we're about to select something. Move the pointer over one of the straight lines in the path, and when the pointer changes appearance like that, if you haven't moved it, drag the path to a new location, and you're going to see that the whole thing moves, all the anchor points and everything. That's because it's the selection tool, the black arrow. Now, to undo the move, choose Edit, Undo Move. Click an empty area of the artboard to deselect the path. Then, select the Direct Selection tool over here in the Tools panel, and come up to the path. Move the pointer over any one of the straight segments, and you're going to see the same thing. You're going to see a little black box. That means that if you click, you will select it. So click to reveal the anchor points, and you'll see them all out there, including the line segments. Move the pointer over the anchor point labeled 4 right here, and you're going to see the little anchor actually gets bigger, telling you if you click, you're about to select it. Click to select the anchor point and the anchor point is filled solid. The other, one, the other ones out here are not, because that's the only one selected. Drag the anchor point up to just reposition it a little bit. Then click in a blank area to deselect. Move the direct selection pointer over the path between points 5 and 6. Once again, you're going to see the pointer change. Click to select, and what you just selected was you selected the path or line segment between the anchor points 5 and 6. So choose Edit, Cut. This removes the selected segment between those two anchor points only. Now you'll learn how to connect the paths again using the pen tool. So select the pen tool. And if you've got two paths and you want to connect them or continue drawing, you can move the pointer over point 5 here, for instance. And you're going to see a little slash next to the pointer. Click the point, and that means you can continue drawing from that point. Move the pointer over point 6, and you're going to see this weird little thing on the, next to the pointer. Click, and that means let's join them or connect them together. We now have a single path that we're working with. Go ahead and save the file by choosing File, Save. 